Hi, I'm Sean, and we're going to get into how to take a super secret value from our Azure Key Vault and pass it into our Power Automate flow so everything stays super secure. And we're going to show you how to prevent things like this, where we're showing super secret information inside of flow runs. Out of here. But first, let's see the wrong way to do it. I'm so good at computers. If I want to secure this, for instance, with an API key here in my query, Super easy. You just come up here and type in super secret value or whatever your API value key is, and you're done. Next task. There's a couple reasons this is bad news bears. First of all, if this value ever changes, I'm going to have to go track it down in all the places it's used. Second, if we go into our flow run history, there it is right there for everybody to see. Who hacks computers wearing a ski mask? One easy way to help fix this is if you go under settings and scroll down here under security and you do secure inputs and then you save that. And now when you open it, it blocks it. And you can also block the output if you want by putting that here. Even though I rarely see the need for that, this should be good enough. But if I go and edit this flow, if I click into here, I still see this value. It's better to store things like this in Azure. If we go into Azure and let's go down to our earlier app registration. If you don't know how to set up an app registration, we have a link on it below. And then we come down here to API permissions. And if we go down to add a permission, we can add a permission to an Azure key vault by selecting that. Now we're going to go down here and click plus and hit add permissions, and then click grant admin consent for Untethered 365. Now let's go right click on home, open it in a new tab, and come up here and type key vaults, and select that item. And we're gonna make a new key vault to store this API key. Select whatever resource group you've been using, and I'm gonna call this education API, review and create, hit create. It'll take a second, but when it's all done, you can click on go to resource. And then under objects, we can come in here and select secrets. And uh, we're going to create a new one. So in this one, we're going to call it EDU API key. And in here, I'm going to type in super secret value and then hit create. There's one other step we have to do. You have to come on here under access control and you have to give yourself access to this. It's kind of annoying. I'm going to click add role assignment. I'm going to select key vault administrator though depending on if you're adding other people to this you might want to just give them key vault reader so they can consume the keys but not make them and then once you select that hit next now we do want to give it to a service principal so i'm going to click select members so i typed in external because that's the name of my app registration so i'm going to select that and also give myself permissions to it click select and then i'm going to hit review and assign now, when we go under secrets, we go under generate import and I type in API key, EDU, and I put in super secret value. If I click create now, there it is. If we hop back into our flow, let's get rid of that because we're going to go and try to get the actual key. If we go in here and type in get key under Azure Key Vault, we have the option of get secret. So let's select that. We're going to give this a name called API EDU key, and then you could select service principal. And from my app registration, I'm going to select the application ID and the directory tenant ID, and I'm going to paste them right here. Now the secrets, if we hop into certificates and secrets, I'm going to create a new client secret, set my expiration date, click add, and then make sure to copy this value that appears right here. And then for the name of the key ball, we're going to come up here and I'm just going to copy this and then throw it right into there. Also, if you don't wanna deal with the app registration, you could just use your sign-in account. Click Create New, and that's it. Now we're good to use this. I'm gonna give it a better name, API key, and then inside of here, I can go and click one of the dynamic values and select value of the secret, and boom, secure. And in case this wasn't obvious, you would should also want to secure the inputs and outputs of this, or otherwise you're going to get this and then like, what's the point? Last point of security is every single one of your flows, Power BI reports, whatever, they should never, ever run like this, where it has a person's name. They should always be run under a service account. And it's not enough to come in here, hit share, and then select some service account here. Pretend instead of being a security group, this was a service account. It's not enough to share it with them. 
What you need to do is go back. You want to go and click set primary owner and then remove this person. And then in here, you would put in the service account. This is the only way that if whoever owns your flow, if they ever leave the company, that this will keep running. We discussed security today. We got into API keys and service accounts. And also don't have everyone share the same username and password and log in. I thought that was obvious, but yes, don't do that. Is that a Street Fighter Christmas shirt? Yeah. Nice.